Hi, Greg Denny again. You know, as I've had the privilege of traveling around the world and meeting with wonderful people, I've been able to see their life, their economy, so to speak. You know, I've been in countries like Peru uh, or Guatemala that uh, in a lot of ways are struggling. There's, there's great wealth and then there's great poverty, like a big separation in their economy. And then, you know, in the United States and in uh, Europe, you know, I've been on four continents. And it's, it's been so fascinating to see what's available, what's working for people. And even Germany right now, where the economy is really strong at this time. And even up in Alaska, where they have their own unique economy. And what I've realized is essentially there are three ways to make a life and a living. You know, a few years ago, I was sitting down with a friend, and he had recently graduated from law school. Uh, the guy was smart, he did well, and he got out, and there was no work. And so he'd had to get a job at a bank, and was just barely scraping by with his wife and his children, just trying to make ends meet and, uh, with an advanced degree. And I thought, what's going on here? And I've seen that story over and over and over, and heard it many times. And, and maybe you have too, or people with, with degrees, even advanced degrees, are, are having a hard time or you know trying to just get by making paying the bills and so what we've seen in the the three economies we can call them or three ways to make a living and a life are those who uh, you get some basic training and maybe very little formal education or very little self-education and they end up with jobs that are usually significantly under about fifty thousand dollars a year then there's a group that goes on to college or advanced degrees or even higher training and they, they get a real skill set or, or the certifications, the diplomas, whatever it is. And they make anywhere between, you know, 50 to 150,000 on average. You know, there's some in each of those areas that end up just blowing past it and making a ton. But, and most people think that's it. That's the route. You know, I often ask people, youth especially, you know, what are you going to do? In the next few years, I'm going to college. Why are you going to college? You know, <laughs> and they look at you like, Durr! <laughs> like you know, a, a nail sticking out of your forehead or something, uh, well, so I can get a good job. And most people think that that's the reason you go to college is to get a good job, right? It's job training, and 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 they often very few people think about this other way. You know, what some have called the third economy, or this other way, and it's, and it's entrepreneurship. We've moved now. Everything's changed, and it's so exciting. What a great time to be alive. We've moved into a new time where it's the age of connection. It's the age of information. And literally, the vast amount of internet usage has, has changed the world economy and has made learning and working and earning available from anywhere in the world. Now, I've worked from several different countries now doing my work. And, and as we've been out, it's been so wonderful to meet all these individuals and couples and families who are living or traveling all over the world, working through the internet and earning an excellent income or sufficient for their needs, whatever they're, they're going after. And so I want to emphasize this idea today that there's an opportunity for entrepreneurship, right? Or even entrepreneurship where where, where you just you see it as it, it's your own opportunity to see a need and fill a need and to do an excellent job. Um, please don't misunderstand me here. I am all about education. <laughs> I think it is so important. You, you know that about me. We have to get an education. In fact, I believe there's never a graduation from education. But have you ever considered that there are other ways to get an education besides just going to a university or college? Now, if that's part of your path, great. Do it. Learn all you can. Become your very best. And I think whatever you choose to do, do it in an exceptional way. But as far as earning goes and creating a living and a life, I think entrepreneurship is one of the best ways. And, and they are by far the highest paid demographic. It's those who go out and create businesses and create jobs. They see a need in the market and they fulfill that need and they bring real value to the marketplace and they get paid accordingly. It's the great way to go. So I just want you to think as, you, as you're for your own life, you know, like we, what we like to call lifestyle design, is are you living the kind of life you want to live? Are you earning the kind of income you want to earn? 
If not, what are you going to do differently? How are you going to change? If you're raising children, you know, if you're a youth yourself looking forward into that, what, what, which one of those paths do you want to choose? Right? If you're raising children, which, which path would you like your children to follow? Which one would bring the best? And again, we, we often think, oh, we want security. And really, the only real security is not in our resources, but in our resourcefulness. It's in ourselves. Our earning capacity is our best resource and security. Oh, so as you think about that, learn to th- learn to think about it differently. See it see it differently. See how the world's changing. Learn to adapt and adjust with it, and always consider that other economy out there. Even if it's a multiple streams of income, which we talk about in our other videos. You know, maybe you do have a career with with a job and, and the job training. But then you have something on the side as well, something you love, something you're passionate about that brings in another stream of income. But whatever you decide to do, do it great. Reach upward.